So this is a PV combiner box, and today we're going to talk about what they do and how to use them. They are a very simple device, but people are intimidated because when you open them up, there is a lot going on. But all this device does is connect all of your solar panels to your inverter or solar charge controller. So if you have multiple solar panel arrays in parallel, the current will go up and you need to protect each string. So having a fuse for each string and an overcurrent protection device for each output is very important. This combiner box also comes with a diode for protection so there's no back feeding from each string and we also have a surge protection device. And these surge protection devices require a ground to dissipate the excess charge. So over here we have a grounding bar. So very simple device. Honestly, all you do is connect some solar panels, positive, negative, and then you get a DC output, positive, negative, and positive and negative. That's pretty much it. Now let's talk about the fuses and the circuit breakers. So the circuit breakers are for the parallel connection of all of these inputs. So you can turn it on or off and that will control the DC output. But these connections at the input for each individual string has their own fuse. And each fuse is rated for 15 amps, which is typical for a single series string. And you can easily replace these if something were to go wrong. And the surge protection device just works automatically. In the diodes, you don't have to do anything. So it looks complex, but there's no reason to be intimidated. Connect your solar panels, connect your MPPT, and then turn the switch on, and that's it. Everything else will work autonomously. Also, this is a higher quality combiner box. The connections are ferruled as compared to other ones on Amazon that are soldered and then they just screw them down. Some other YouTube reviewers have actually found loose connections on those and that's why I never use them. If you have parallel strings, you should always have some form of overcurrent protection for each and every individual string. With smaller systems, I'm fine just using inline MC4 fuses. Also, if you have a single series string connected to your system, you do not need a combiner box and you do not need any form of overcurrent protection. This is very specific to parallel strings that are combined for a single or double input on an all-in-one system or for an MPPT. Another benefit of combiner boxes is it organizes your wires. So on the outside of your house, cabin, or RV, you can have all of your arrays connected right here and right here to the fuses, and then you can have only two or four wires going out to your MPPT or to your all-in-one system. And it looks nice. It makes your system look more professional. Now let's talk about how to size a combiner box. Depending on your array will determine what size of combiner box you need. On this combiner box, we have eight DC positive inputs and eight DC negative inputs. And in the middle, we have two DC outputs. So each output can handle four parallel strings each. So if you have an all-in-one system that can handle 4,000 watts on each MPPT charge controller, that means each breaker can handle 4,000 watts with those four inputs. So 4,000 divided by four is 1,000 watts. So that means I can connect 1,000 watts to each input and then have one breaker control a 4,000 watt input for the MPPT. And having two DC outputs is very useful for MPP solar or grow watt type inverters all in one systems that have two separate MPPTs. But let's say you only have a single MPPT or one solar input on your all in one system. This is complete overkill and you do not need this many connections. And over here we have a smaller combiner box. So on this one, we have a single DC output and four parallel string connection input and the typical surge protection device and the diodes. So in this instance, with this DC output, we only have two conductors. So we could put a thousand watts through each one if our MPPT can handle 4,000 watts. So again, very simple device. Just as the other one, you have a grounding bar, the diodes and everything else. Also, these were provided by Watts 24-7, which is a company I use to distribute all-in-one systems. Ian at that company does a great job and he got these specially made for his company. And the build quality of everything that they sell is really nice. I mean, even this door is sealed 
everything is grounded properly, this is a high quality unit. Especially compared to the units that they sell on Amazon. Please check out the other reviews to see the fault points of those combiner boxes. And that's pretty much it. A pretty simple device, but very confusing at first. I know if you're building your first solar system and you see these and all of these wires, you're like, uh-oh, what is going on? But just look at the labels and follow the instructions. It's very easy to use. DC positive over here, DC negative over here, and then connect the output to your charge controller, and that's all you have to do. Also ground it if applicable for your application. Anyways, just a quick video on combiner boxes and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.